Bird tear to mud on all Menawi. I am Derdra, daughter of Enora, daughter of Rowena, Mal of this clan. Is it you who helped my warriors discover what the men of the Red Sun were doing? Indeed. Then I thank you. It's probably because you are an Onol Menawi that you are different from the other Renaikse. What do you seek? Can you tell me something about your beliefs? We believe that we are part of an everything. And that life depends on a balance that comes from this everything. Our strength is drawn from that which we protect. All that surrounds us. And that which surrounds us feeds and protects us in return. What can you tell me about your rituals? Ah, oh, you have heard this question before. You sound like the mind shaker woman. The rituals are the business of the Donegada, not of the Renoixe. Anything more? Concerning this story about a sect... Enough! Enough questions! I have nothing more to say. What do you seek? Concerning this story about a sect... Enough! Enough questions. I have nothing more to say. Good day. Are you the wise man of this village? Burt Tir Dumad Renaikse. Oi and the Donegad, yes. I would like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. The people of your island are constantly asking questions, yet reject any answers that displease them. Questions have no value when one already claims to know the answers. But. It is your case. You believe you know the answers. You seek only their echo. Answer your own questions. At least then the answers will please you, and we shall be done with your foolishness. That is not what I... Qua Awelemseg. May your answers fill your day with bounty. Even your thoughts are loud and break my peace! Can't you leave us alone, Monisenaig? Traitor. An Anolmenawe does not wear the dress of the strangers. Birtir to Madre Naikse. Good day. Do you want something? Could you answer a few questions? Questions, questions. It is a word that you adore. Let us play a game. If you answer my questions, I will answer yours. If it is the only way to get answers, then let's play. I am pleased. We will have fun. But beware, no lies. What name is given the place from where you come? I come from Serene, a grand city on the continent of Gokane. Really? It is possible that you come from there, but I believe that this is not your land. 
Your turn. Your village seems different from the others. Why is that? Each village is different than the others. It is the reflection of those who live in it and of all that surrounds it. Vedlug is the village of the lightning struck wood in your language. Why do you call it that? It is said that there was once a great fire that burned all the surrounding woods caused by a storm. But one tree that burns nourishes a new tree, greener and stronger than before the forest returns. We are like her. Even wounded we rise again, stronger than we were before. Our warriors are known for this by all clans. They fear us. Let's try something else. Are you on all Manawi with your land? Or did you inherit your link from your parents? I am not bound. Or at least I haven't done anything in particular to bind myself. Then it was your parents. One of them at least must have been Donegad. Your turn. Could you tell me more about your beliefs? What a strange question. I don't believe. I know. Nature is alive. A forest is like a village. Every river, every rock, every beast, the land itself, all live, all speak to us. In exchange for these gifts, we honor her, give her our dead. This is the way of things. We do everything in our power to protect her. It was fun. More than with the woman who makes light. She did not want to play. Do you want something? Enough questions. Traitor. An Anolmenawe does not wear the dress of the strangers. Ernaixe ya toigan quahesa de elodes, Samel Mila, Machdewegander. Traitor. An Anolmenawe does not wear the dress of the strangers. Can't you leave us? Leave me be! Even your thoughts are loud and break my peace! Ernaixe ya toigan quahesa de elodes, Samer Mila, Machdewegande. Anything new? No. The investigation has gone stale. The villagers won't even engage in conversation with me now. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. Traitor. Can't you leave us? Leave me be! 
Even your thoughts are loud and break my peace! Ernaik se ya toigen, quahesa de elodes, summer mila, machte wegan. You have a strange stare, Ernaik se. Leave me alone. What can I do for you, my child? I will see you later. Take care, my child. Do you want something? Enough questions. Birtir to Mad, Anal Manawi. What do you want? What can you tell me about your rituals? Our rituals? Nothing. Nothing at all. They do not concern me. I am not a Denegad. Even you. You should be able to tell that. Why you bother me with these questions? I am only a gatherer. Go and bother someone else. Tell me about the missionaries that came here. Those who wear the symbol of the sun on their clothing. When they came, they spoke about their bright and shiny god. They told us we were wrong. Said that nature was just nature, and not to be worshipped. These men know nothing. We ignored them. They finally left, and then the woman came to us. She sniffed around everywhere, asking many questions, just like you. I was told that she tried to enter my own home. I even saw her trying to follow me in the woods. She must be careful. It is easy to get lost in the woods, or cross paths with wild beasts. This question will seem strange to you. But do you know anything about a demon? A... demon? A dark spirit, if you prefer. No. There is no such thing as dark spirits. Your question is not strange. Foolish, perhaps. What can you tell me about the beliefs of your village? The beliefs of the village? That is a strange question for an Onol Manawi. Our beliefs are the same as those of the other clans. We believe in the earth that carries us and feeds on our dead, in the rain that quenches us and drowns us, in the beasts that feed us and in those that eat us. I do not know what more I can say to you. Everyone shares these beliefs. You're different from the others. What is your role in this village? Different? Why? Well, for one, you answer me when I speak. You others, when we don't answer you, you start digging for answers everywhere else. I am a gatherer. I hunt a little. I do my part for the life of the village. I must leave now. Thank you for your help. Anything new? No. The investigation has gone stale. The villagers won't even engage in conversation with me now. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. I managed to exchange a few words with some villagers, but they don't seem all that keen to talk. And did they tell you anything worth sharing? I know a little more about their beliefs. They worship nature and do not intend to change. It is certainly different from the luminous faith, but it's hardly demonic worship. Yet there is something strange about this village. 
One of the villagers that spoke with me seemed truly worried. On edge, even. I think I know of whom you speak. A man always looking over his shoulder. He often sneaks out of the village like a thief. I attempted to follow him, but he always eludes me. I tried to get into his hut to see if he was hiding anything. But someone was always there. Then we should give it a try. Perhaps we'll fare better. That fellow was really nervous. Perhaps we should try and search his house to see what he's hiding. He doesn't look inclined to let us in. We'll have to distract him. I'm sure this young lady could help us. She appears to be playful and to love pranks. Or we could just break some of these pots. That'd keep him busy. I can pretend to be clumsy, but we'll have to be fast, and it will only work once. Go away, Renoigse. You are not welcome in my home. Go away, Renoigse. You are not welcome in my home. They're worshipping some dark creature. I wouldn't like to cross paths in a dark alleyway with someone wearing a mask like this. This painting is frightening. Evoking war. A massacre. A bloodbath under the likeness of a grimacing face. is incredibly morbid. I wonder what sort of spirit could be venerated in this way. This is exactly the kind of proof we've been looking for. An evil cult, far from some naive veneration of nature and other island spirits. All these gruesome and bloody horrors leave no room for doubt. There is a demonic cult here. We should go tell Sister Ephesia. Did you learn anything? No. Nothing more. Were you able to get inside the nervous man's hut? I was able to sneak into the hut of our mystery man. And what did you discover? Some troubling things. A ritual mask, a rather morbid altar, and a fresco depicting a massacre. By the Enlightened. To think these unholy things were so near. Finally, the proof we need that there's a blood-worshipping cult here. They cannot perform their heinous pagan rituals in the village, and I am certain that it's where our nervous friend sneaks off to. I fail to find where he goes, but you have already proven more competent than I. I shall try. Hopefully he will not lead us into a trap. Thank you for your help, and good luck. We should wait until nightfall and follow him. Perhaps we could hide and wait here. Then we will be able to see where this sleepless boy goes during nightfall. My child, it's time to wake up. Our nervous friend is here.
And let's go! May the shadow engulf our enemies! Let's see if you can ward off this fate! man have gone these strange roots are forming some kind of door this must be where he went Careful. Is everything okay? You started wobbling all of a sudden. I had a sort of flash vision. Just for an instant, I was a tree in a storm. What exactly did you see? Perhaps these images will help us find an entrance into the sanctuary. I was this tree, and my branches were shaken by a storm so strongly that they hurt terribly. The heavens caught fire several times, and I felt the lightning strike and pierce me through and through. A sinister warmth took hold of my entire body in an instant, and flames began to devour me. Life left me. All was calm, and I had a taste of cinder in my mouth. In spite of this, I continued to feel. And the rain began to fall on my roots, and at the very heart of my being, I felt the sap begin to flow again. A shoot appeared on my darkened roots, then the vision dissipated. I have never experienced anything like it before. This stone bears the image of a storm, or perhaps the wind. The drawing on this stone represents lightning. Here, this looks like a snowflake. This stone is blackened, eaten away. This stone has an image of the moon. On this stone, the sun is visible. This drawing looks like an infant. The drawing on this stone makes me think of fire, I'm certain. I must have lit the candles in the wrong order. Maybe in life you protect me in this battle! Working on my blade. Let's go! Tell us again exactly what you saw, my child. I was this tree, and my branches were shaken by a storm so strongly that they... This stone is adorned with the etching of a drop of water. This stone bears the image of a storm. Or... The drawing on this stone represents lightning. Here, this looks like a snowflake. Snow, this stone is blackened, eaten away. I think it is supposed to evoke death. I must have lit the candles in the wrong order. Maybe in the right protect me in this battle. For the choice on my blade. And let's go! May the shadow. <laughs> this stone has an image of the moon. Evidently, I shouldn't have lit this candle. 
May the enlightened protect me in this battle! Get poison on the plane! And let's go! I must have lit the candles in the wrong order. Bit of on my blade. Then let's go! The drawing on this stone resembles a symbol that must represent the earth. Evidently, I shouldn't have lit this. Stone. Bit of poison on my blade. And let's go! The ward of the fate! The drawing on this stone resembles a symbol that must represent that this stone is adorned with the etching of a drop. I must have lit the candles in the wrong way. Get poison on my blade! And let's go! Evidently, I shouldn't have lit this. A bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! May the shadow engulf our enemies. Lit the candles in the front order. A bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! Evidently, I shouldn't have lit this. A bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! Evidently, I shouldn't have let this. Let's see if you can ward off this place. May the shadow engulf our enemies. <laughs> Evidently, I shouldn't have let this. A bit of poison on my blade. Let's go!
I must have lit the candles in the wrong order. A bit of poison on my brain. Let's go! May the shadow and dark of my enemies. I must have lit the candles in the wrong order. Bit of poison on my brain. And let's go! Let's see if you can ward off this fate! The drawing on this stone resembles a symbol that must represent the earth. Evidently, I shouldn't have lit this. Bit of poison on my and let's go! This stone is adorned with the... I must have lit the candles in the wrong way. Poison on my bed. And let's go! I must have lit the candles in the wrong way. Bit of poison on my brain. Then let's go! May the shadow in our enemies! Evidently, I shouldn't have lit this. Bit of poison on my blade. And let's go! This stone has an image of the moon. Evidently, I shouldn't have lit this stone. Bit of poison on my brain. And let's go! Evidently, I shouldn't have lit this. Poison on my blade. And let's go! May the shadow engulf our enemies!
Evidently, I shouldn't have lit this. There's poison on my brain. And let's go! <laughs> Evidently, I shouldn't have let this. Uh, my uh, Let's go! Evidently, I shouldn't have let this happen. Poison on my blade. And let's go! May the shadow engulf our enemies. Evidently, I shouldn't have let this happen. Uh, but if I'm my brain. Let's go! Split the candles in the same There's poison on my blade. Then let's go! May the Evidently, I shouldn't have let this happen. Ah! poison on my blood. Ah! And let's go! Ah! 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 The drawing on this stone resembles a... Evidently, I shouldn't have lit this. There's a poison on my... Then let's go!
This island really is full of surprises and mysteries. This weird puzzle actually opened the door. Los duis, atu da yam canade dole, tadulan vrandi, alaun eles agen ole vei. Closi garamam e telami ol flinau ich egrem, closi gadem da yentis ol arabini a ol slai. Vanqua sa kengadem fradem a digalem, linquid winter buso galansani. Tugon benis gremos nigawi, renkasi e krimadrem de negao e dent, klos duis, aruyecht nes diri! Trois des drames en ades gideon, arenta. Esfar nufradi, damagengadan yadiga la dandien. Esfar nufradi, Dao i Gajshidon, a ga spalnu fradi, dao i gremo se nabui. There is no longer any doubt. The creature who was talking through this tree is a demon. In any case, Teleme's story suddenly sounds way more plausible. The Donegat who performed the ritual was the villagers. We should go talk to Dedra.
What do you seek? We found your sanctuary and assisted in one of your blood rituals. Was the apparition we witnessed the demon the priests were talking about? What is clear is these priests know nothing and you know nothing. I am not from Teleme. I cast no judgment upon your beliefs. But if you want us to help you, you need to help us understand. I doubt that you would be able to understand, but very well. I'll attempt to help you make sense of what you witnessed. The ritual you saw is a ceremony to summon forth the strength of our warriors. Our people have always lived in harmony with nature. Our very existence revolves around her. She talks to us and takes on many faces. What you have witnessed is just one of many. Confronting the threat that the Renoixi make up, we called them for their blessing, and they appeared to us. Can we contact them? I mean, is communication possible? What you witnessed was not a discussion. But if you visit a sanctuary, you may see one of the faces, and then you will be able to talk. Pass the mountains and head to the swamps. There, if you perform the ritual, you will see them come. Though what you will hear may not be to your liking. The enlightened protect me in this battle! A bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go!
What a strange party we have here. Who are you to come and disrupt our solitude? Good day. We? You? You are on Olmenawi and at the same time, Renaixi. So it is possible to bond yourself on your faraway island. <laughs> we are here because Teleme has asked us to carry out an investigation. They think that certain clans venerate a demon, an evil creature. We carried out our investigation of Vedlog on Chief Deirdre in an attempt to discover the truth. And the clues have led us to find our answers in this sanctuary. Deirdre sends you to seek out a demon? Curious. A man from your island came already a long time ago. Full of questions he was as well. He had a small party of warriors with smoking tubes. And on their chests, a golden lion. A lion? An emblem that is fitting for the pride of the Bridge Alliance. They set up a camp near here, and then they disappeared all of a sudden. Do you know where, precisely? It was a long time ago. I don't remember all that well. My memory has been leaving me of late. But it wasn't far from here. You will find it, I am certain. Ah! You are bringing back the memories. They were asking nearly the same questions you ask. Fresco. It represents a beast of the marshes. A red serpent. A fresco. It represents a beast of the marshes. A red serpent. The image is fading. I can't see much of anything. Remains. They must be the people the Hermit was talking about, don't you think? Probably. You can still discern the crest of the Alliance on this doublet. Let's search the area. There might still be something interesting. Fresco in various yellow hues. It represents a sort of insect.
What do you want, strange stranger? We found the camp you spoke of. Well, all that remains of it. Oh, I told you. You were not the first Renagse went by here. Many died. What happened to them? I warned them, I remember. They did not listen very well. Too bad. Their weapons were strange, strange and powerful, but not enough so. The marsh is more powerful still. That doesn't seem to bother you all that much. Tiofradi gives. Tiofradi takes back. But you're still here. What do you want again? I found this note. It speaks of a ritual, but it is incomplete. Do you know anything else about it? A ritual? Yes, there is a ritual for the impatient. For me, it serves no purpose. I am here. I wait. But for me, it would be useful. Can you help me? <sighs> Deirdre must have her reasons. The folly of youth. Do you see those drums over there? They awaken the earth. As long as you play them correctly. Awaken the earth? Oh, and that's not all. Once the earth is awakened, the stone will appear. That must be quenched. Quench a stone? But you're still here. What do you want again? How do you play the drums? Oh, that's easy. The music is the first language of Tiafradi. It resonates with the earth. You need only respect the natural order for the earth to hear you. A predator, a prey, the cycle. That's not really all that clear. Oh, come now, come now. You must first make the snake rattle, unless it is first to be the insect. Alas, time devours all memories. I do remember one thing, though. I'm listening. Each drum must only be played one time, and only once. But you're still here. What do you want again? Quench a stone? What does that mean? Water trickles on the stone and returns to us, empowered by its force. But sometimes, water is not enough. This note I found explains a recipe, a potion thought to contain the essence of this place. Is that what must be poured over the stone? Oh, yes. No doubt. No doubt. But you're still here. What do you want again? Nothing. I shall leave you alone. Something's appeared over there. It seems as if it's some type of altar. It looks like an altar. The stop. What is this?
dog! Killed! You killed her! Monsters! Murderers! Assassin? Of this creature? May the earth swallow you whole! We had no choice. This creature attacked us. Explain yourself rather than insulting us. Ignorant foreigners! She was a Nadaig, a guardian, a Danaigad, returned to nature! I don't understand. Are you telling me that this creature was once a woman? It was my woman! You and all those of your cursed island are fools and destroyers. But in all Milfricti men will soon send you back over the water. He will destroy you as you destroy us. He has already begun. En on Milfrictimen. I have heard that name before. Perhaps it is the name of their demon. One mystery after another. What we take for a demon was a woman transformed into a beast. And now we have but a simple name. An on Milfrictimen. This man... Or this thing seems to be after us. Perhaps it is behind all of this. We need to learn more.
You survived. Which must mean, alas, that one of the Nadaig is with us no longer. You are a great warrior. You could almost be a storm warrior. What do you seek? You have set a trap for us, invoking and releasing that creature. It is true. And the Nadaig is indeed one of the faces, a spirit of the oil. I was hoping that you would disappear. The swamps do not like to give back those who enter. You have seen things that no stranger to our clan has ever seen. Secrets that no one must know. But you survived. You are strong. I should not have taught you so weak. I have nothing more to give you than my excuses. And that you keep to yourself all that you have seen. Anything more? I need to be going. Kwaawalem seg.
plague. Look at all this. Surely there is something that you would like to trade. Quoi l'emsec? Do you... Qual é o lemsec? 